Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play arcade games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen, now you can see me playing some TMNT. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing MAME for Droid. This is going to be our free arcade video we're going to be using in today's video. So the first thing you want to do is get this installed. Once this is installed, we're going to be opening it up. And if this is your first time installing the app, it will ask for access to your phone storage, as well as asking where your ROMs are downloaded. Don't worry too much about this for now. We can change the location of this a little bit later on, and I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. From this point, because of this, I would recommend creating a directory in your Android device for your actual arcade games. In this case, I've already done this with the archiver. Of course, you can also do this with any other file management software you would like. However, I'll also be leaving links in the description down below to the archiver. So what I've done is created a folder directly here called arcade. And inside this, I have my games. In this case, I only have one game at the moment, TMNT in a .zip file. So in this case, our game will actually play files directly directly from a zip file. So I would recommend in this case, leaving the files in a zip. So it is recommended to keep them in a .zip file for this emulator. So I will also mention in today's video, I'm not gonna be showing you where to download your games. Although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out and you'll be able to find your arcade ROMs without a problem. Once your games are downloaded and you have a folder created, we're gonna be coming back to our emulator, main for Droid. And what we're gonna be doing is locating to where our new folder games are. To do this, what we're gonna be doing is clicking the option button right here. We're gonna be going to settings and we're gonna be clicking on the general tab right here. From this point, what we have at the very top is change ROMs path. What we can do is click this, a pop-up will say the app will need to be restarted. We'll select yes. We'll simply close down our emulator. We'll then reopen our emulator. And then from this point, we'll get this pop-up saying, do you want to use the default ROM path? In this case, we can select no. And then here we can select where our games are downloaded. In this case, I have my arcade games right here. Once you're happy with your location of where your games are, click done, and then all ROMs in this folder will load up. Now to show a couple more settings, how to set up an external controller, we can come back to the option tab right here. We can come to settings and here we can see all different information and settings about our emulator. So to change the input method and set up an external controller, which is what I would recommend doing, what we can do is click on the input tab right here. And then here we can set up different controller types that we would like to touch controller, external, tilt controller, light gun, and a couple of other options right here. So you do have a lot of flexibility with this emulator. It does do a lot of things really nicely. So you can come in here and change and set up any controllers you would like like simply tap on your selection and then map your controller and follow the instructions. So from this point, I'm going to be backing out of here and I'm just going to be using the on-screen controls for this video. From this point, you can then use the joystick on screen or if you have a controller loaded to click through the different settings. And what we're going to be doing is hovering over the ROM or game you would like to play. From this point, you'll simply need to click the B button on the bottom middle. Your ROM will then load up. You can click B one more time and then your ROM will start to play. From this point, it'll go through a couple of checks. It'll check everything is okay. And once everything is loaded up and you've downloaded a ROM from a suitable source, everything should load up no problem and then your game will start to play. From this point, you'll then be brought into the main menu. So once this fully loads up, you'll see game over. So I actually need to click the coin button to enter a coin into this emulator to be able to play. From this point, we need to click start, or in this case, the B button will be start for this game particularly. And here you can see I can play a game just like that. Now it's really easy to actually set this up and get everything running. Once you get it up, most phones will run this no problem. These games are pretty old, so you should be able to run them at full frame rates without any issues. And of course, then you can change some extra settings in regards to how you actually emulate these in the settings. And you can go through that one by one to see what works best for you. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play arcade games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.